What's up folks, welcome back to the channel, it's Fozzy here, I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really interesting 400k hybrid team. I know Team of the Year is right around the corner, we're recording this on Thursday the 20th of January. Team of the Year starts tomorrow, so the market is a little bit all over the place, people are selling off teams, um, fodder's going up, so um, this team is still pretty damn accurate to what it would have been, I think. So this team coming in at 400k, obviously Team of the Year has the opportunity to change this price, but at the time we're recording, this is a 400k team, we're going to be taking a look at a Syria hybrid, if you guys follow or are in the Discord, which is down below, Twitch, Twitter, anywhere like that, or previous videos, you guys know I absolutely love the Syria. it's my favourite league. Um, I've tried not to throw that bias too much in these squad building videos, but I was sat today trying to think like what, what team do I want to showcase, it's a bit harder with Team of the Year around the corner, so this time is the very first time, probably one of the only times where we're going to include one objective player and one SBC player in the team, because I think they are what lead to this being a really interesting team. Uh, if you don't have them, there will be alternatives, but this is a really cool team, I'd say the back line is the only bit that's boring and uninteresting but this is a really good gauge what you can build for 400k and when we get to the objective players as well we'll discuss a bit more about them but if you do enjoy the video please leave a uh, thumbs up on it it's just greatly appreciated that the likes on the channel and the videos really do help um let me know in the comments down below what you think of this team is there any changes you make if you do try it out let me know how you get on and also let me know what sort of budgets and themes you guys want to see moving forward and finally if you're new around here hit that subscribe button help me on this content journey to get a thousand subs but let's just jump into the video i'm gonna flip over to foot bin just so i have all the prices and then we're going to go buy through these players one by one so first of all we're going to change the formation we're going to be doing a 4-3-3 what i will say already there's two players that have to be position changed for this team i didn't see if there's two players that need to be position changed i will try and sort of blitz through this so you're not waiting along too much we'll start off with the goalkeeper um i'll go through it one by one i'm not going to do the thing where i just sort of flick through the team actual show so it's going to be handanovic He's the goalkeeper. I was saying this is a Serie A team with a hybrid. So there's three non Serie A players, the rest are Serie A. We're going with Andanovic. He currently has an inform. So anyone of you guys getting elite rewards or playing champs this weekend, there's a very high chance you will get his red in your red picks. I might not get to play this weekend, which sucks because I would like to have him in as a first owner. His card in the market right now is coming in at where's at 16,000 coins um it has risen due to fodder or sorry just to the fodder prices for the icon player picking team of the year rising he's you know it, it is what it is the keepers i've used him a fair bit between him and uh, mike Mignon, they're my two go-to Serie A keepers his position and reflexes is really good there's not much else to say the inform has plus twos on diving and handling he's a solid keeper you know he gets a strong link into one of our center backs that we'll look at in a second but I'll go with the interesting fullback. There's one interesting player in the back line. Uh, he's still not overly expensive, obviously, because we're working within the 400k budget. But the right back's going to be Florenzi. Now, on this note, I will say, if you completed the Darmian showdown SBC, then you don't have to worry about this card, and it actually helps even more um, down the line in the team building. But this card on the market is incredibly cheap at 16,000 coins. He needs a shadow on him, that's for sure. The pace isn't perfect. But as far as fullbacks go in FIFA, for like not being the basic like 82 rated right backs and actually having a bit extra to them, 16,000 coins for Florenzi is really, really good. If you're the sort of person that wants to change from a fullback into a three of the back in game, he can play midfield. Uh, he's high, high, so quite a versatile card, I think, for the budget he worked. As I said, if you have the Darmian Child on SBC, then you're laughing because he is pretty much an end game right back and he would be in here so if you have darmia use him instead so this is this is the kind of thing that we'll discuss as we go through the players we'll look at the next center back now but if you have an spc player or an objective player that works then obviously feel free to use them instead but this is just trying to go with on the market plus from an objective and spc what you can get so the next center back is fifteen thousand coins in the market and it's screener now he has been and is one of the best centre backs in the game. He obviously has a signature signing card, which has a really nice passing boost and is just a good boost in general. He's medium high, right footer with four star weak foot, so you can play him on the left side. Has a bit of the pace split, but his defending at 90 defensive awareness, 86 interceptions. His physicals are good. You put a shadow on him and you just have, he, he just does the job for you. And it's kind of the same as we transition to the next centre back. He's also 86 rated and costs 14,750 coins. It's cool buy. Now, this is where I'm saying this backline could be deemed a little bit boring. They're, they're gold center backs. They combine for 30k. There's not too much special. However, there was a cool buy player at the month 
It was the very first Serie A player of the month we had this year. If you completed him, he still works very well. He's still one of my favourite centre-backs. He came back into my team this past couple weeks, and he's very much clear of almost any other centre-back in my club. There is this headliner version, which is a possible one again. So if you have either of those untradeable, or maybe you've got the headliner chilling in your club and you haven't sold him, then obviously he can be used. This is probably... This is a top three centre-back duo this year. And even now, they're still usable. So I know everyone wants like the flashy teams, they want the icons, the promo cards, obviously a headliner cool buy and a signature sign is printing out. You're laughing, it looks good. But when we're to go and value for money for a 400k team, this is fantastic. And then the left back is going to be Theo Hernandez, who's 9,500 coins. Now I will say, you do have the option of using um, Spinozola. Is he a, Yeah. Uh, he has his, uh, what was it? It's not a future star card. There was the next generation card. He had his next generation card. Maybe he got lucky with that. And then he's got his informs. I believe this one's in packs this week as well. Or maybe it was, it was last week he was in packs. So maybe you have red picks from them. But still, 9,000 coins, 9,500 coins for this left back. There is an argument for Spinozola to be used. But I feel like... Hernandez is probably the the more preferable go-to because he is left-footed despite being three-star, three-star. He's left-footed. He's got the pace. The defensive awareness isn't quite there, but he's got good stamina. And he just, he's one of the best left-backs in the game. Now, this back line, I said, is probably the more boring part of the team. Uh, and now it gets a little bit more interesting as we go forward. And there are strong links in there, so you guys can make changes as we go. So, this formation has essentially three center mids. I'm kind of running this in the mind of someone who's using a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, a 4 3 3, um, possibly playing a 3 at the back. Um, obviously, there's a potential for people to drop into the back line or on like um, uh, just a box to box midfield. I, I think that's one of the best options in FIFA this year. So that's what we're going for. The first player is going to be his inform. It's actually, there's two inform center mids here. The first one is going to be Kessier. Now, his inform in the market right now is 31k. It was cheaper, but obviously the fodder prices have made that rise. I think he's a CDM. He is. Oh, uh, Cam, sorry. So he has his normal card, gold. He then has a rule breaker, which is 70,000 coins. And then there's the inform. The inform, despite having 10 less passing, is probably still better in game due to the big physical difference. This is the card that you want because he's high high. You want to put a shadow on him and you want him to bully people in game. That is his purpose. So for 31,000 coins, it works in an absolute treat. Trust me on that. Now, obviously he gets a strong link to Hernandez too, which is really good for future hybrids. If you have a Zaha SPC, maybe you put him in there. There's, there are some good link options. Another, oh, we've got three center mids here, we're saying. The other center mid is going to be the first informed version of Barella on the market is 36,000 coins now this player came into my team this weekend and made such such a big difference i don't know if it'll put the actual yeah i want to see real quick if i pick the other one does it put the card in, in my team maybe the, the first one that comes up is the red pick no it doesn't i have him in my club i don't know why he's not coming in uh, as the gold but i, I kind of wanted to look nice i wanted to look pretty for you guys you know not just all gray so let's remove the concept I do have a Barella. Maybe his position changed. There we are. I've changed him to a CDM. There you go. You've got your nice little pretty Barella. I do have a Florenzi too. Let's, let's fix this, guys. I want this to be interesting. I don't want this, this concept stuff going on. Let's get Florenzi in here real quick. The proper card. But as I'm saying, uh, Barella is arguably one of the best box-to-box -box players in the game right now. And his inform is cheap. He has another inform in that. And he has a headliner. He was in Team of the Year voting, but based on the leaks, spoiler alert, I'm going to give you a few seconds. He's not in Team of the Year based on the leaks. Um, so his headliner very much is like the best version of him, which you can work towards. Again, he is high, high, I believe. He's high, high, three star, three star, which can be a problem for some people, but his dribbling is nuts. Plus the stamina, he just outperforms what those face cards say. Like you, on the face of it, obviously the dribbling's really high. The rest of it doesn't look too special, but he plays really good in game. The combination of him and uh, Cassie has been one of my favorites since the start of the game. And as I was saying, this is like the sort of goal. This formation is being built where you will have attacking fullbacks. And you're kind of just having the three box-to-box -box players to give you that structure in the midfield. But for the sake of chemistry, we're not going to show you the final centre mid yet. Instead, we're going to show you the F the SBC player in the squad, um, which is going to be the other showdown player, which is Muriel. Now, Fubin is showing him at being 160k. 
I don't think that's correct. I think he was like 130, 140 when he came out. Um, obviously, he's been given the plus one. I just want to know, if he missed out on this card, he's been insane for me. Initially, I had a Hawk on him, and it wasn't really working. Since I put the Hunter on him, as you see, the goal return is pretty much a goal game within also getting assists. He's been an absolute menace. The, he's just, the, the dribbling's good, like almost 90s across the board. He can't do long passing, but outside of that, he's fine for passing. The finishing's great, good stamina, good strength. Low aggression, don't worry about it. He's got everything else, and obviously his pace maxes out with the Hunter. So that's that card. If you don't have him, there's kind of it's an awkward replacement thing. So you could get either the recent inform Immobile in, or you could get the team of the is it the Road to the Knockout version of Immobile or team of the Group Stage, whatever one that is. You can use them. If you have a big coin influx, you can pick up Di Natale. Um, if you want a really cheap option, who's four star, four star, you've got a Notovich, but none of them really like compare perfectly to Muriel, which is why I think he was a must complete SBC. Um, there have been other objective players in SBCs for the Serie A, like the Simeone, you've had the Aussie men, stuff like that. This guy was much needed for the league, I think. Um, if you miss out of him, as he might, this might screw your entire squad builder. It's very reliant on you having this player for the hybrid, which we'll look at now. Because um, the person that's going to be playing striker, and this is going to be the objective player who expires literally in a couple or a few hours from the time of recording this, and it's going to be uh, Matthias Uribe. Now, this guy who I only just put in my team late, uh, last night, he's three star, four star. If I, I was late to this to get him. Uh, he's very easy to complete. I completed it in like 30 minutes with people playing Golden Goal. If you missed out on this card, and you will probably will by the time this is live if you haven't completed it, but I know most people got him done way before I did. He is a beast in game. He's one of those players where obviously he's like the physicals are big, and that's because of the big stamina. He can defend. His shooting's good for a box to box. The reactions are nuts. His agility and balance, he's a big boy. He's six foot. It isn't too bad he feels good in game you put a shadow on him i've got him in 8 cam he is genuinely one of the best box to box players i've used now this leaves us to our wingers and anyone who knows fifa probably knows where i'm going to go with this uh i also just know you're be free because he's an objective player he takes half an hour every time the winger is going to be corona uh who has actually moved to sevilla so or sevilla sorry um this card his rule breaker he is in for 21,000 coins. I understand Mexican, Liga, Portugal, all that. This card isn't going to change for the way to Seville. It will be Porto. Um, so that might make it go. He's five star, five star, high medium. Yes, the pace isn't cracked out, but he's five eight with 90 acceleration. He will feel nuts. 94 agility, 90 balance, 97 attack positioning, and 92 stamina with good aggression but low strength and good defending. You can play this guy as an attacking cam. Play him as a right wing back you can play him as a right mid like there's so so much you can do with this card i've loved using him um i played 52 games with him with six goals it says six goals scored um i played a lot of friendlies with him to be honest does the friendlies track I, don't, I haven't played i don't think i've played 52 games of rivals with him it must be tracking friendly surely i'm not sure i don't feel like i played that much with him but regardless um He's a really good card. Um, there is also the option to link like Taremi into him, who's a very cheap, good striker if you're on a budget, but that card's fantastic. I paid 18,000 coins for him. He's now 21,000 coins. And then the final player, who's one of the more expensive players in the team, is going to be Headliners Diaz, who's 71,000 coins. But man, I, I love this team whenever I, when I look at it here. I don't have him, so I'm going to have to put on the concept players. His in form at the start of the year was good, but as you can see, compared to that, there's plus five shooting, plus seven passing, and um, the dribbling is up four, and the pace obviously just got the plus one because it's basically max already. But he actually gives you rebate at perfect link. Um, so everyone on this team gets 10 chemistry after the position changes. Diaz is four star, four star. The pace is great. His balance is lower, uh, and he has 5'11, so maybe you want an engine on him or like a finisher to boost that. Uh, or whatever works the best. His stamina is good. He can pass all right. Most people will play this guy probably as a striker or just an absolute pace merchant winger. He's fantastic. Now, that's the team. And honestly, I'm really happy with this team. I think if you were to tell me, here you go, this is what you build for 400k, it's absolutely fantastic. And I will say, this relies on you having the Muriel SPC and the Uribe objective card. Without those, it can throw a spanner in the works, but there are different alternatives you can take. So, one will involve changing the formation. What you can do, I will say this is the team, this is the 400k team, but I just want to give you guys the options um, for what you could do. 
in regards to who you put in instead of um, Uribe, it's going to be Torami. Um, which some people might not like because they're going to look at him and be like, oh, I don't want that card. He doesn't look good. He obviously then gives a strong link still and gets everyone a full cam. He needs a hunter on him or an engine, whatever what you prefer. But he's a four star, four star high medium. I've used him in objective. Oh, okay, so oh, it's concept cards. I'm going to check. I have his card. I do have his card. I want the shiny card, EA. Come on. He, he's, a, he's a good striker, man. It's, he's going to be slapped on because of the league, the club, and the nation. Any of concepts. I knew I had him in the club. I've been running them on a basic. Does it track friendlies? Yeah, it definitely tracks friendlies, okay? So he has been playing. Uh, he has he was good in friendlies for me in the objectives, I must say. So he's got good dribbling, not great, good stamina. His finishing is good, honestly. I would put a hunter in this card and he's going to ball out. Then what you need to do is find another Serie A striker, which is going to be a bit of the problem area, I, I feel. Because if we go over to the Serie A and we look at the strikers, there's some good options, but like there's not always great. So... Let me get concept players on. You can see there in my club, there's a few. So I just want to give you guys the options here. So there's the Ebra card, which is like two and a half million, insane priced. There are the this is the inform removal, eh? and then this one's the like the road to the knockout. Road to the knockout has extra passing on it. He has three star, four star, so you're not going to skill moves with him. Outside of the agility, the dribbling's fantastic. The shooting's class. You can put a hunter or an engine on him. Like he's just a good player. He's got outside of the foot shot. He will shoot and score. He's one of those cards. There's Dean Natale, who's obviously nuts, but he's very expensive and can sort of screw up the budget for this team. If you got him from an hero, hero pack, though, obviously he, he's a good option to have. Um, if you completed the Pandev SBC, he's a four-star, four-star, high-low player. I wish I did this SBC. I really bloody regret not doing it. I would have loved to have him. There's a Melito hero who isn't as good. There's a Simeone cards. Um, there's a Vahovic card, but he's not going to be that good. Martinez, maybe. He's four-star, four-star, but he never really translates that well in FIFA. Um, I'm not too sure why, to be honest, because his dribbling looks like it should be good. Maybe I need to try him out. He'll be cheap as chips. Um, but these guys all will get links. There's a Zapata card. Really, what I'm thinking, you're looking at maybe Martinez, Immobile, Pandev, Di Natale, or the Muriel card. Uh, obviously, if you get an Italian in there, they're going to get a strong link off uh, Barella and be on full chemistry. Otherwise, you're relying on linking the club. But that's the team for the day, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. It's great. appreciate it. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And be sure to let me know what you think about this team in the comments and also hit me with themes and budgets for the future. So that's me for today. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a fantastic, fantastic evening or whenever you're watching this. And hopefully, you get some good packs in Team of the Year. Feel free to join the Discord. It's down below or uh, catch me over on Twitter and let me know what you pack. But hopefully, you get on with this 400k team. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.